nation still in shock. Tunisian authorities have now opened an investigation into a shooting attack at a synagogue that killed two Jewish pilgrims and three members of the country's security forces. The motive of the gunman whom guards killed before he could enter the building on the island of Jeba remained unclear. I would like to reassure the Tunisian people and the whole world that Tunisia will remain safe. No matter how hard those criminals try to disturb its stability. The death toll from the attack rose to five Wednesday when a guard who was hospitalized in the immediate aftermath died of his wounds. I couldn't think of anything. The only thing I could do was to phone my son and he told me that some of his brothers were with him. When I saw the security forces, I asked if there were any children wounded. I was told there were no children affected. My wife and daughter asked if there are casualties among adults. They did not want to answer and they were right not to. Frankly, when I heard that there are no casualties among children, I felt relieved. There was nothing we could do. The police blocked all the entrances. We couldn't go out. There must have been between 2,000 and 3,000 people inside. We were stuck. We couldn't do anything for almost three and a half hours. The island's historic Griba synagogue, thought to be one of the world's oldest Jewish temples, is a popular pilgrimage destination. 